Hey guys, Al from Bethany Farm and Nursery coming at you again. This time, I'm coming from basically where we hold all our junipers here on the farm. And the reason I wanted to be in this area today is because our sister company, Stone Hill, just did a planting job. And the main reason for the planting was erosion control. Uh, the homeowner had a steep hill, it was ugly, they were losing a lot of topsoil when we got heavy rains. So they wanted something that was aesthetically pleasing, but also to control erosion, which is why I wanted to bring you right here. So, first off, some of the plants that they used in that, I'm not gonna name every plant, but they went with the gold mops. Gold mops are beautiful. They're gonna hold the soil well. They're aesthetically pleasing, like I just mentioned. And they hold their foliage, along with all the junipers out here, they hold their foliage year round. So you're gonna have that year round color. So they used the gold mops. They used, I just brought this ornamental grass over here just, just for this video. They used ornamental grass. Ornamental grass is another great erosion control. Actually, any type of grass. But the ornamentals are specifically nice because they're gonna give you that aesthetically pleasing um, concept that most people are looking for. Uh, the grasses are gonna set deep roots. And essentially what the roots do is they hold that soil in place. They also went heavy on the creeping junipers. Creeping junipers, in my opinion, are the best erosion control plants you could have. They creep out, they're gonna hold the soil, and then at the same time, as they creep out, they're gonna actually act as almost like an umbrella or a shield from rainwater. So instead of the rainwater hitting bare soil or mulch or whatever you decide to put on that hillside, they're gonna hit that plant. Essentially, less rainwater hitting bare soil, it's gonna control the erosion. So when we're done here, we're gonna head over to the actual job site to see the finished product. And I think you guys are really gonna like it because it's beautiful. All right guys, so we're over here in Woodbridge, Connecticut, and we're at the job that we were discussing previously. So as you can see, we got our creeping junipers, we got our gold mops, and we have our ornamental grasses which are gonna hold the soil in place. They're aesthetically pleasing. I mean, so Stonehill did this job. I, I, we were just talking to the homeowner. She told us they finished yesterday. And she was telling us that one of the main reasons why she wanted to install this bed was because, because this is such a steep slope, you can't get a lawnmower on here. But unfortunately, grass is gonna to continue to grow. So you're really left with only one option as a homeowner or a landscaping company is you're gonna to have to come out here and you're gonna to have to weed whack this hillside. And who wants to do that? So instead of having to weed whack this whole area, this is what you could do. You throw in something like this. The majority of these plants are low maintenance. Actually 90% of them, 95% of them are low maintenance. It looks beautiful, it's functional, and it's just easier. So a couple things I wanna to touch on, besides the erosion control plants, which look great, is the boulders. In previous videos, we had discussed that Bethany Farm and Nursery, not only do we sell the boulders, but Stone Hill can install them for you. And I'm excited to see that they had the boulders here because now you can actually see what the boulders can do in a landscape design. Um, they just add a little bit of extra flair, I think. And it's natural looking. It looks like these things are supposed to be here. I really like that one, the flat one there. Um, the other thing I wanna to touch on with this is Stone Hill, as always, did it right, and they went with the sweet peat. So we've talked about sweet peat before. The sweet peat is going to help all these beautiful plants grow. But since we're talking about erosion control, the sweet peat, when the rain comes, heavy rains come, the sweet pea acts like a sponge. It is going to soak up that water. So when the water hits the sweet pea on this steep hill, I mean, this is a steep hill. Uh, instead of the sweet pea running off, the sweet pea is gonna soak up that water, it's gonna continue to decompose, and it's gonna feed these junipers. Um, Stone Hill Landscaping out of Seymour, Connecticut, it's our sister company. They're the real deal, <laughs> as you can see. This is a beautiful planting. Not only is it gonna help with the erosion control and runoff, but it is absolutely stunning and beautiful. I also like 
how they incorporated the azaleas. Uh, the last video we did, or maybe two videos ago, Ryan and I discussed azaleas and why we like them. So early spring, mid spring, they're gonna get a burst of color out here to kind of brighten this place up a little bit because there are a lot of junipers and the junipers are here for a reason, guys. Um, Stonehill did a great job. And uh, if you're interested in using Stonehill, you can call the farm, you can go online, you can look up Stonehill Landscaping and Excavation, Seymour, Connecticut. The last thing I want to touch on, and I think this is one of the things that makes us super unique, is if you are interested in using Stonehill and you want to do a planting, you can come up to the farm and you can walk the farm with Cheryl, who is our plant expert. You can walk the farm with me if you want. You can see, touch, feel, get some information on the plants, pick out which plants exactly, which plants you want. Stonehill crew will come out and they'll do an installation just like this on your property. So thanks for following along, watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, follow. Appreciate you guys being here. Have a good one, guys.